Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Welcome to Serpente Sunday for February 19th, 2023. I have an unboxing for you this week, as well as a new thing that I got to try with the snakes that I'm going to show you. But I'm not just going to do that with me on the camera. I'm actually going to show you the new item with snakes interacting with it. And then the unboxing is not an actual real life snake. I have plenty of those, including my inland carpet python, Merlin, who's joining me for this introduction. I'm gonna unbox a My Snake Crate from Scarlet Nightshade of Creatures of Nightshade. And I'm gonna show you what comes in a My Snake Crate if you buy one or if you choose to subscribe to getting one monthly. So let's dive right into everything. The first thing we're gonna do this week is join Telemachus on one of our activity stations. He's exploring it after leaving his enclosure and he is interacting with the new item I got for the snakes. I'll explain what that is and give you a closer look shortly, but first I'd like to share with you a little bit about Telemachus. He is a Morelia bredli, which is a non-venomous species of constrictor snake native to the area around Alice Springs, Australia. He was produced by Austin Warwick at Ragebeard Reptiles, and he was hatched in September of 2016. Now he lives in a bottom enclosure on this stack. These are five by two by two enclosures from black box cages. That's his with the open door there. And he climbed out of that enclosure and onto this activity station. He actually climbed through that little tunnel thing and then he started making his way up. And he really wants to go up higher. And I normally have something on the very top level of the activity station. However, I couldn't wheel the activity station under that hammock that's hanging from the ceiling with the additional climbing item on top of it. So it's gone and I didn't put it back. So he's trying to figure out how to get from this top level of the activity stand up on top of the enclosures. And I'm wondering if I should help him or not. I think he could make it. I think if he climbed on the hammock or if he just tried a little bit harder to climb the two feet up this enclosure, that he could actually get up there to the top level. And that top level has books on it. It doubles as a bookshelf for me. And then it connects to another room where there are actual branches and big parts of trees for the snakes to climb on. So I'm starting to feel sorry for him now because for some reason he thinks he just can't quite make it or that maybe there's an easier way than stretching his over five foot body up there to that top level. Now, the item that he is exploring, this black thing, is a new item I got for the snakes, and I got two of them. So I'm going to put the second one up here and see what happens. And right away, even though he has never seen this item before, he climbs right up onto it, and he utilizes that to push him the rest of the way up on top of the enclosures, which is where he wanted to be all along. So I will pause my narration here and let you watch him do that. Thank you. Well, Telemachus made it up there where he wanted to be, and now we're going to go over here to Solera, who is at her door, and she's pushing against her door. So I unlock her enclosure and try to open it for her. However, she's actually causing the doors to be stuck because she has wedged herself between the sliding doors, 
and the substrate shield. And so no matter which door I try to open, her big thick body is wedged between the substrate shield and the doors and it's making it very difficult to open. So I had to push the substrate shield a little bit away from the doors in order to get them open all the way and give her the opportunity to come out. Now, she's only come out twice on her own and she's been here about a year, close to a year. And there's a lot of commotion going on right now in this room. When she first started asking to come out, I thought that she was just gonna come right out. And here is that black item again that I added as something that I'm going to start letting at least two of the snakes use, probably in their enclosures, and I'll explain that in a minute. But then my husband started feeding the dogs, so there were 15 dogs running through and going to their enclosures where they eat and all the lights got turned on, and I think it kind of put the brakes on her enthusiasm for wanting to come out of the enclosure. So we're just gonna let her sit there and think about it. And I'm gonna show you this item I got. It's actually an elevated dog drinking water bowl or food bowl, and it came from Chewies.com. But it has this huge space underneath, like a really wide space. And it's a completely one single piece molded plastic holder with this metal dish inside. Well, I don't think the snakes need that metal stainless steel dish. So I'm taking that out. And it's got this molded indention in the top where the bowl fits. But when you take the bowl out, it's completely smooth in the middle. It's completely smooth underneath. I couldn't feel any sharp edges. I couldn't feel any little spots where a snake could get stuck. And I know that the bottom looks sharp, but it's got rubber um, lined all around that bottom lip and the corners are not sharp. I checked all this out with my hands. And I'm thinking this is gonna be an awesome either water dish or just climbing ledge for the snakes that they can also get underneath. So I'm really excited about that. Now we're moving on to our unboxing, which is my snake crate. This is the third one that I've received because I subscribed to my snake crate when Creatures of Night's Shade first started offering it because I wanted to support snake education and celebrating snakes in a positive manner. And that's certainly what Scarlet Nightshade is doing with her My Snake Crate. So this is the third one I've received. I gave the first one to my husband's granddaughter for Christmas, and that was the dragon snake one. This is the third one I've received and it is the false water cobra crate. And so that was the booklet that I took out first. And then there's a poster that comes in each box. And it is a little bit of an odd sized poster, but I was lucky enough to find frames that fit it. I can't remember the dimensions off the top of my head, but I found frames that were relatively inexpensive on amazon.com that fit this poster size exactly. And so I have um, framed the previous two posters from the previous two crates. I took the dragon snake one out of um, my step granddaughter's box before I gave it to her because I really didn't think she would hang it on the wall and I wanted to see what that would look like framed. So here are what the two previous posters look like in the frames and that's the Kenyan Samboa and the dragon snake. And again, these frames work perfectly. I believe the frames come in black or white. I prefer white. And now I just have to figure out where I'm gonna start hanging all these. So after the book and after the poster, there's more goodies in the box. So I'm gonna finish unboxing those so that you can take a look at what's in here. They're very well packaged, well packed and very attractive packaging with the orange paper and everything. So there's a coloring page or a painting page. You could color this if you have um, crayons or if you have colored pencils, but it comes with paint so that you can paint that. And I know one of the other boxes actually came with a wooden snake that my step-granddaughter painted with her little paints. And I think that was the dragon snake one. So then there's a little message that says there's more stuff underneath. So it's pretty fun to open up because it's like you're unboxing and opening up layers of a present, unwrapping layers of a present. So what's in this bottom layer is a puzzle. And this is a false water cobra puzzle. Obviously, everything in this crate is themed false water cobra and the Hydro Dynasties Gigas. 
And if you follow our channel, you know that we have one that came from West Liberty University from when I was working on a training project there with one of their grad students. Our false water cobra's name is Vashti. And then there's two packets of cards that come with the My Snake Crate. One is questions. And so each one of these five cards has a question on it that you can answer yourself or you can quiz somebody else on. And I'm just going to flip through these real quick so that you can see what those look like. And maybe you can answer them yourself. You can pause this if you want to and read the questions and answer them. But the answers are on this other set of cards. So there's two cards in this other package. And one is a card warning you to keep the answers hidden so that somebody can't cheat. And then this is the answer key that comes with the cards. And so you make your guess. So let's look at card number one. What family of snakes does the false water cobra belong to? You look at the answer key. It tells you the answer is B, Colubridae. And you would do this for each card. You read the question, you make your guess, or you get your participant's guess, and then you check their answer or your answer against the answer key. So let's put those back and see what other goodies are in the My Snake Crate. This is a magnet and a sticker. Now, I personally don't do anything with stickers anymore, but when I was a kid, my entire bedroom door on the inside and the outside was covered in stickers. You couldn't even see the door. This is a magnet, and I do use magnets on our refrigerator. I used to have magnets covering every inch of the refrigerator, but now I try to be a little bit more conservative about it, so there are some actual blank spaces where I can fit the magnet from the My Snake Crate. This is the completed puzzle. Yes, I stopped filming. I put the puzzle together so that I could share with you guys what a completed puzzle from my snake crate looks like. How long do you think it took me? It took me, an adult individual that is almost 54 years old, nearly six minutes to put a child's puzzle together. I was actually a little disappointed with myself that it took me that long to put the puzzle together, but I'm sure that I'll do better next time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It's something a little bit different than what I usually do, but next week I'm sure we will be back to some type of educational topic and you guys will have to work your brains a little bit. So until next time, everybody please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Okay, so what in my mind is a lot of time has passed because I've made this whole video and I've actually cut a lot out and Solaris still hasn't come out of her enclosure. So I'm pretty much giving up on her tonight and we'll try again another time. Telemachus on the other hand has traversed this entire space and made his way across to the very edge and is now trying to figure out how he can get off of this ledge and into the laundry room or perhaps down onto the counter. Not really sure what he's doing, but he is wasting no time with his exploration.